Hey guys, so I went to the library today and I got some special books. And one of the books I saw was really interesting. And Miss Pritchett in the library told me that I should read it, but I've never read it before. So this story is called The Not So Quiet Library. You know, in libraries, you're supposed to be quiet. So I wonder why this one isn't quiet. Let's find out. Every Saturday, Oscar and Theodore got up bright and early. Not to watch cartoons or play outside with their friends. It was the one day they went to the library with dad. Dad always said that, that a day of quiet exploration required a proper breakfast. So went, went and got some donuts. At the library, Theodore and Oscar returned their old books, waved to Miss Watson, and crept past old pickled onion Miss Tasker. Oh. They headed down to the children's department while Dad headed up to the nap department. Oscar and Theodore were just settling into another quiet library day when boom, bang, crash, growl. Ooh, shh. Boom, crash, growl. Urr. Oh no. Knock it off, Theodore. That's not me. So Oscar thought it was Theodore making that noise. Do you think it's Theodore? I don't know, let's see. It appeared there was a monster in the library. There's a monster in the library. I told you it wasn't me. Look at that foot. Oh my goodness. They couldn't outrun the monster. You better not mess with us, monster. My brother knows Kung Fu. Yeah, right. Uh-oh. And bluffing. You know what bluffing means? That means that they tried to pretend that he knew Kung Fu, but I don't think he really did. Urgh. They tried trapping the monster, but that just made him angrier. Uh-oh, looks like they tried to trap him. That monster is angry. They, the only option left was diplomacy. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mr. Monster, is something wrong? Yeah, there's something wrong. We hate books. Oh no. They, the many headed monster had tried everything to make books taste good. Seymour topped his with whipped cream. Uh oh, this book tastes terrible. Chuck tried mustard, yuck. Winston swallowed his book whole. Pat tried hot sauce. Should have a should have picked a soft cover. Uh-oh. He's trying some sprinkles. Bob used sprinkles, but they just bounced off. These monsters are eating the books. Are you supposed to eat books? No, you're supposed to read them. Actually, books are for reading. What? You mean this whole restaurant is filled with things we can't eat? Now, are they at a restaurant? No. Well, we'll just have to eat you guys instead. Uh-oh. Finally, grab the sprinkles, Winston. Wait! That's when Theodore remembered something. I wonder what Theodore remembered. What did he remember about? Donuts. Perfect. You guys will taste great with some donuts on top. Yum, yum. Did that work out? I think he thought they were gonna eat the donuts instead, but now they're gonna eat both of them and the donuts. Thankfully, Miss Watson stepped in. Story time, everyone. Please sit crisscross applesauce. Applesauce? I like applesauce. Mmm, story time. Sounds tasty. Sorry about the whole gonna eat you thing. It was just the low blood sugar, I think. I don't know what is better, this book or this donut. Books sound so much better than they taste. 
this one next, please. Luckily, monsters love story time as much as they like donuts. After story time, the monsters promised to clean up the library. Besides, Miss Watson could really use some help reaching the high shelves. The boys promised to return for story time every Saturday after Bob, Seymour, Winston, Pat, and Chuck promised not to eat them. How did you know that monster loved donuts? I read it in a book. And that's how the not so quiet library became quiet again. Wow. So they had a crazy time at the library, didn't they? That's pretty neat. Have you ever been to a library? Did you see a monster when you went to the library? I've never seen a monster when I've gone to my library. I think our libraries are pretty safe. This story is just kind of silly, isn't it? Well, you have a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Bye.